good morning children welcome back to your google classroom we have discussed the first part of the story quality in the previous class let's recall the main points which we have discussed the short story quality is written by the famous english writer john gasworthy the main characters of the story are the author and gessler brothers gessler brothers were shoemakers they lived in their shop in london mr gessler was a perfect shoemaker perfect in the sense the shoes made by him lasted very long it was of supreme quality the other knew him from his childhood onwards because uh, the mr gessler used to make his father's boots on one occasion while placing an order the author entered to mr gessler's shop by wearing a pair of boots bought from another shop mr gessler pressed at a point where it hurts the author he complained that those big firms have no self respect the author had heard such things for the first time from mr gessler then he ordered many pairs of boots after that he left for abroad a year later he came back to london then he visited gessler's shop we have discussed up to this let's continue the story a year later after coming back to london he again went to his favorite gessler shop the author realized that mr gessler was looking more aged this time it was only a year had passed but from his face it appeared as though he had covered a journey of a decade mr gessler failed to recognize the order the order as usual placed his orders and this time the boots were even better than ever a week passed on one evening the order went to the shop to thank mr gessler and to tell him how great the new boots fitted him but when he reached there mr gessler's name was gone then he went in and found out that the shop was totally changed suddenly an englishman appeared and it made our author confused then he asked to the man whether mr gessler was in or not no sir but we can attend to anything with pleasure we have taken this shop over you have seen our name outside answered the englishman our author again inquired about mr gessler then he said mr gessler was dead because of starvation the author couldn't believe this he told he saw mr gessler working on his boots day and night the man used to make all the boots himself he never allowed anyone else to touch them he used the finest quality leather and worked hard day and night to complete the orders in time he made the best boots in london with the finest leather yet he lost it to competition everything that he earned went on paying rent for the shop and on buying leathers he skipped his meals working 4 hours for each pair of boots besides he never advertised his shop that's why he lost his work day by day this was about the sad death of our mr gessler our author became very sad listening to those words he was very shocked and then he left with hiding his sadness this is all about our story quality i think you have learned a great lesson from the story that doing work with all your heart is a work of art we have some text activities in this lesson do it yourself the answers of these activities are attached with the notes check it a youtube url is attached 
watch the video attached paper is also included submit your answers as soon as possible the notes of this chapter is also attached study it we can meet in the next class with a new topic thank you